We built our mini empires and we idolised our homes. We took so much for granted, our health and wealth, freedom to roam. Consuming at a rate of knots, insatiable appetite. Coveting the insta-gods of influence and might. Perpetually busy in the rat race and the throng. And the birds were always singing, but we never heard their song. We'd moaned so much at things that interrupted our routines prioritising self whilst we pursued our goals and dreams. Believed the lie that we had time for those we loved tomorrow. We never thought time might run out, that there'd be grief and sorrow. The lives we lived would last for years, but we couldn't be more wrong. And the birds were always singing, but we never heard their song. Rumours came from far off lands, an outbreak of disease. But confident in our own strength, we continued as we pleased. It wasn't on our doorstep, so it mattered not to us. And even if it did, we're not the type to make a fuss. We had romantic notions that this island race was strong, and the birds were always singing, but our lives drowned out their song. The virus came and life stood still, and all that went before ceased to be security was not ours anymore. Places closed and we stayed home, a hush replaced the noise. Families adapted to homeschooling girls and boys. And some panicked and they stopped pub goods as if that would make them strong. And the birds, they were still singing and we began to hear their song. People started to get sick, most recovered and survived. But others, despite best efforts, fell ill, succumbed and died. And we weren't allowed to comfort or to say our last goodbyes. And when we wept, we wept alone with no one to hear our cries. And when we mourned apart, as loved ones went into the ground, birdsong filled the silence, and our hearts ached at the sound. Many railed at cruel fate, or shook their fists at God, yet others recognised the truth that deep downs understood, that empires rise and empires fall, and we aren't in control, that tomorrow isn't promised, and we can't save our own souls. Many for the first time prayed, aware that they'd been wrong, and the birds they kept on singing, and hearts lightened at their song. If Covid's taught us anything, it's that we are so small, but there is one who is big enough to save us from it all. One who knows the pain of loss, to suffer and to die, who guarantees eternal life, not vague pie in the sky. Jesus conquered sin and death for us upon the cross. In him we have eternal hope, even in the face of loss. That hope is there within our reach, but not by our own works. We cannot put an end to death, despite human research. Covid's taught us time is short and the stuff we have can't save. Only Christ can free us from the fear of death and of the grave. In him we're sure of heaven within a vast and diverse throng, and the birds will sing forever their joyous worship song.